Hi, welcome to Daddy Kerb's garden. I wanted to bring you into my little nursery corner so I could show you some of the things that I have growing, some of the things that I've propagated, uh, some from seed and some from just cuttings. I wanted to show you uh, what's working, what's not, and just give you some update. We'll start over on this side. This is a tree that was given to me. It's a uh, Osage orange. Now I didn't propagate it. This was given to me as a small tree and I'm just uh, growing it up and then eventually change pots to make it larger here in the nursery corner. And then once I find a place on the property, we'll put it in the ground. And that's kind of the same story with these two. These are the Moringa trees that I'm very excited to grow because they have a high nutritional value. I have two of them. I've repotted them twice and they're just growing beautifully. And kind of behind my uh, Moringa trees here is a container that has um, some date palms that I started from the seeds that, that you can get in the store. Actually, I bought the dates and I enjoyed those. I love eating the dates. And I saved the seeds and I started to grow them. And I have three young date palms growing up. So I'm excited to see how well they do and where I might use them on the farm. And here's a closer look of those date palms. You can see there's one here, here, and another one here. Over here, this was the original lemon tree that uh, I propagated. Remember the story where my daughter had said, why don't we just put this in the ground and see if it grows? Well, it did, and it continues to grow, and I continue to get new leaves. I believe someday I'll have a full lemon tree off of that. Just this weekend, yesterday I believe, or the day before, I started these two blackberry trees and I cut off of uh, what, I, what I'm now calling my mother plant where I'm going to start propagating all of my blackberries. Uh, two two um, young cuttings that had some woody stem and then just some, a nice bit of leaves on the end. So I put them in a, a mix of sand and compost and I'm keeping them really wet. They're down in a pan that's uh, got water in the bottom. That way it doesn't dry out too fast in the first stages of its life. Kind of continuing around here. This is, this is one of the two apple trees that was in the video about me propagating fruit trees. Uh, this one, I know the leaves are brown here, but I am getting new little leaves. So I believe this one is taking root. This one back here, it didn't make it, it's dead. So one of the two apple trees did well. Uh, and, and I did this willow tree. I got a willow tree on clearance at one of the big box stores and it did not look too well. But I planted it and right away I cut the top, the, the whip top of that plant and I stuck it down in here. And it, it just, it is taking root. It's doing really well. Now it grew up so fast that I decided to go ahead and cut the top off of it. And I planted it over here. And this, there's four or five little new leaves coming off of that. So I believe I'm going to get another willow tree off of that whip. So that's, uh, that's exciting because it's the same method I used on those apple trees. So it, it looks like it's going to be a... Um, a successful method of propagation. I'm going to bring you in closer here to show you this apple tree. I don't know if you can see those young little leaves growing up on there. That tells me that tree's doing pretty well. I'm hoping that it, ha it is actually making roots. And this uh, young willow tree, you can see that there's a uh, four or five little leaves forming on that. You can get a slightly better look at this willow tree here and how green and full that it is. And it's, it really is growing fast. And back here, that's that apple, better close, or a closer look rather, at the uh, the stem. It just, I was hoping it would come back, but it, it's, I think it's gone, so. This is a young, uh, oh, somebody help me out, a uh, pine nut. I believe a pine nut, pine, and so that one's going to be interesting. I w I'm not really sure where on the property to put that, but I'll find a good place for that. So th that's these here. This is a young loquat, 
and that was given to me as a, a baby tree and it's growing up nicely I've got some nice growth on that I got another one over here and a couple more back here that I just I just transplanted these into bigger pots this one's still in a small pot because I didn't have a bigger one I need to find another bucket or something for that one the loquat fruit if you haven't had it it doesn't store well it doesn't have a very good shelf life uh, but if you can pick it fresh, it is a delicious, uh, what, what is, I don't know how to describe the flavor, but it's a very soft, sweet, um, just a very pleasant fruit. And so I'm hoping to get these to grow up so that I can make a lot of jams and jellies and uh, also a base for my salsa. Now coming around the corner even more, here are a couple of, these are native mulberry trees. And these are ones that will just grow up on the riverbanks or whatever around here in Texas. They produce an edible fruit, but probably not as big and as full as some of the other uh, mulberry trees that you would purchase for the fruit. But it will make something that's nice to give to the goats, the chickens, and just let the wildlife have those. So two young mulberry trees doing very well. Back behind that are uh, some trees. I have a tulip tree, a golden rain tree, and some other tree. <laughs> back in this corner is my stevia and mint. Uh, they're coming back. I, was, I decided to go ahead and start watering them again. They died back. I wanted to quit watering them for a while, um, and they always come back, so I'm not, I wasn't worried about that. I have one aloe in here. And to kind of finish off the nursery corner tour is my young pecan tree. This is one that I, I ordered as a bare root and I planted it and I just thought for sure it died. It was looking like a dead stick for a long time. But I continued to water it and finally I started getting some leaves and now it looks like it's going to be a successful uh, pecan tree. Right over here is a uh, volunteer plant. Actually it was planted by a squirrel. That's a young burr oak. And directly on the other side is the only citrus tree that I have right now. Well, besides that, that young one that I planted, that's my lemon tree. So that's the nursery corner here in the Daddy Curbs garden. And I am uh, just loving learning how to grow and start plants from seed and from cuttings. It's kind of addictive once you start cutting and planting and, and seeing things grow up and you feel like you can be a part of that process. It's a real pleasure having you join me in the Daddy Kirk's garden. I love what I'm doing and I love sharing it with you. Thank you so much for being with me. I'll talk to you soon.